Hi everyone, this is Simcoe Baitovich from Firefly Sci. And many people have been asking for a video on how to clean our calibration standards. So, guess what this video is going to be about? That's right, how to make a balloon hot dog. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so let's break out those calibration standards and get started. So let's start with cleaning liquid calibration filters. So I have a few things laid out here for cleaning this homium oxide filter right here. And here we have our dust-free cleaning cloth and our cleaning swabs. And over here we have some alcohol. These liquid filters are really easy to clean since they're housed in a 10 millimeter cuvette. For cleaning, all you have to do is take a dust-free lens cloth or a Kim wipe and just gently massage the outside, just like this. If you do see anything on the outside, you'll want to move to taking one of the swabs from the alcohol. Just putting a little bit on here. And just cleaning those windows just like that. You also want to do the back window. Always make sure you hold the liquid filter by the top or by the two frosted sides. That's pretty much it for cleaning a liquid filter. And when you're done with the alcohol, you can just give it a quick rub with your dust-free cloth and that'll be squeaky clean. Here are some things that you should never attempt to do with a liquid filter. Number one is never use an ultrasonic cleaner to clean a calibration standard in a cuvette. This can make the cuvette fall apart. Number two is never submerge a filter in a bath to remove any types of buildup. Number three is never soak a calibration standard. Number four is never attempt to open up a liquid calibration filter. These can have some pretty dangerous chemicals sometimes, so we want to make sure everyone stays safe. Now for cleaning our solid state calibration standards. These standards come in a metal housing and require special care when you clean them. For this one, we're going to use my favorite filter, FUV 0.5, for the demonstration. Before we begin, it's important to note that customers should never attempt to clean a solid state calibration standard in their lab other than the process we're going to show you right now. To clean a solid standard in your lab is by using a can of compressed air, which we have right here. It's important that you don't use the air line in your lab because this can have dust or dirt in it and it could damage the optical surface of the calibration standard. Now it's super easy to clean a solid filter with a can of compressed air. Simply lay the filter on a clean surface, take your can of compressed air, make sure you hold the filter in place or you'll blow it with the air, and give it a quick shot. You can turn the filter over and also do the other side. I should do it this way. This cleaning will remove any dust or any other small particles from the optical surfaces. So let's see if I can get a good shot here. See, this is 100% super clean right now. If there are any smudges, fingerprints, or other types of buildup on your solid calibration filter, don't try to clean it yourself. A special type of cleaning is required, and if you try to clean the filter using a lens cloth or Kim White, it will damage the nano deposition layering that we apply to the standards. Some people also try to use alcohol and other cleaning solutions. You don't want to do this, so make sure you stay far away from this. This type of cleaning will void the lifetime warranty, so be sure you never attempt to do this. If you have any questions about cleaning calibration standards, please send us an email at info at fireflyside.com or leave us a comment in the comments box below. And oh yeah, please give us a thumbs up on the video. And if you really do want to see how to make the hot dog, you know, leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. And we'll see you next time.